Hi, I'm Margaret, and today I'm making Maid of Honour tarts. These little treats have a sweet pastry base, a crisp meringue shell, a soft coconut and almond centre, and a lovely jammy bit in the middle. And here's what we're going to need. So the first job is to make the pastry base. When I'm making sweet pastry, I like to use a little bit of semolina. It gives it a really nice texture. One way to ensure that your pastry is nice and crisp is when you're mixing these ingredients, you get a really fine consistency. I like to use a whisk for this because I know at the end that every grain of flour or semolina is covered in butter. Sipping the icing sugar too helps that fine consistency. I have to be careful here not to add too much milk. We don't want the pastry too soggy. It needs to be just enough to bring it all together. That should be about right. Now needs to be popped to cling film, squashed together and into the fridge with it so that all that butter in the pastry gets nice and hard again so it's easier to roll. Now the only bun tray I've got is the deep one that my mum used to use and I need a shallow one so I'm going to improvise here. I've got a double thickness of silver foil and I've found a little jar that just fits so I can make an indent into each of the little bowls. This should give me the shape I'm after. The pastry is quite cool now so it should be just about ready to roll out. A little bit of flour on the board and I'm going to roll it to about mm, three, four millimetres. We don't want it too thin, but we don't want it too thick either. Just enough to hold the other ingredients together when we pick it up. It's a good idea to keep the pastry moving about so it doesn't stick on the board and you can check if any flour is needed. So that the board doesn't move about when I'm rolling, I've got a slightly damp cloth underneath the board and that keeps it still on the table. Now I've chosen a cutter that's slightly bigger than the indents that I've made. That way it should fit in quite nicely when I push it in slightly. I'll show you that later when I move the tin over. You can always bring the pastry back together and give it a good scrunch and roll it out again. But you can't do that too often because pastry doesn't like to be handled too much but once will be fine, maybe even twice, but no more. You can see now how it fits inside the indent.
And now for that lovely little bit of jam that goes in the middle. You need to put in enough so that you get the taste, but not too much because it could easily come out of the edges when it's cooking, when it bubbles up and gets hot. I found that a rounded dessert spoon usually works well. Now for the final step, that lovely crunchy and creamy topping. The first job is to separate the eggs. We need the whites for this, and you can add the yolks to a nice scrambled egg for tomorrow's breakfast. This topping starts with a meringue, and of course with this, the bowl has to be really, really clean. You can't have any grease on it at all. Otherwise, the egg whites won't whip up so well. So let's give them a good whisk. I'm going to start quite slowly and then build up to a higher speed until I've got some nice stiff peaks. There we go. It should be able to stand up by itself. Now for that sugar. It's best to add a little bit at a time. That way the sugar doesn't overwhelm the egg whites and make them sink. You'll notice, as it becomes nearly ready, that it starts to get lovely and glossy as the caster sugar dissolves into the egg whites. And you can tell that it's ready because if you rub a little bit between your fingers, it'll feel beautifully smooth. You shouldn't be able to feel any grains of sugar. Finally, I'm going to fold in the rest of the ingredients. So let's put a little bit of this on top of each of our little tarts. Just a spoonful at first to see how we go. I'm going to use a, a long wooden stick just to push the meringue into the corners so that it's sealed. We don't want that jam oozing out during cooking. Once you've done this, you could always add a little bit more of the meringue if needed. And just a final check to make sure that meringue sealed properly on the pastry. And then it's ready for the oven. Well, it's been nice to have you visit today. Thanks for popping over. Take care and I'll see you again very soon.